Over the weekend, President Trump met with the Young Black Leadership Summit, which was organized by Turning Point USA, where about 400 young black Americans were invited to the White House to hear a speech and meet with the president about how we could all make America great again together. Some of the attendees included Candace Owens, Anthony Brian Logan, and comedian Terrence K. Williams. He's the guy who's always eating fried chicken while he's mocking the liberal lunatics. That is a terrible stereotype. How dare you? You should be banned from YouTube. No, you NPC. He just likes fried chicken, and that's part of his bit. I posted the president's entire speech, which you should definitely see. So if you missed it, just check the recent uploads on my channel. Here's a quick video that Donald Trump Jr. posted from inside the event. <laughs> That certainly must have been an exciting and life-changing event for all those in attendance. Right, Al Sharpton? One of the lowest things that he could ever do, to go in the East Room, which is sacred, have a staged rally. Notice that all of those youngsters had caps on. It was almost like, we're gonna dress you for the photo. And to call it a Young Black Leaders Summit, he raves about the violence in Chicago, which he should. Why weren't they discussing that? Why weren't they discussing student loans? Why weren't they discussing issues of young blacks? They just had Kanye in there at least talking about criminal justice. None of that. They're in there talking about CNN sucks. They're in there talking about build a wall. So why do you need a young black summit to do it? Because it was not a summit. It was a make America great uh, rally. Okay, Al, so black people aren't allowed to want to make America great again. Got it. You see, Democrats are absolutely freaking out about so many black people becoming Republicans and supporting President Trump because if they lose just 15% of the black vote, the Democrats will lose the midterms next week. Democrats are also freaked out because there's a record number of Latinos who also support the president. Democrats have hit an unexpected speed bump in their drive to regain control of Congress unsettling signs that the party may not generate as much turnout or support among Latino voters this fall as it expected. And the Democrats' problems just got a whole lot worse. Because in a stroke of genius, Kanye West just launched his new clothing line, Blexit, a spinoff of Brexit, the British exit of the European Union. Only this stands for blacks exiting the Democrat party. Kanye West designs Blexit apparel to urge black voters to leave the Democrat party. And of course, it's not just a clothing line, it's a movement, which you can learn more about at blexit.com. The fake news networks don't just report fake news, they also ignore real news, like the fact that 5,000 people marched on Washington, D.C. over the weekend as part of the hashtag walkawaymarch, which was organized by a former Democrat encouraging the sane Democrats to leave the Democrat Party. Of course, they can't show that on the news because it'll just cause more blue-collar and union Democrats who like America and like their families to wake up and join the Trump train. My new shirt illustrates the fundamental differences between Democrats and Republicans, which you can order from markdice.com or click the link in the description below, which will take you to my online store, where you can get it in a t-shirt, long sleeve, or a hoodie, or a bunch of different colors as well. Your purchase helps keep this channel going, so I appreciate your support, guys. Check back tomorrow for a new report, and I will see you soon.